Hi students, in today's class I am going to explain about the uh, preparation methods of acetylene and also few chemical reactions of acetylene. Uh, while uh, watching you can write all these reactions in your notebook and also because all these uh, reactions useful for your objective solving and also it is most important question for your IP examination. So I am going to start this one before that you just uh, take your pen and uh, book. So, uh, first preparation method is industrial preparation method that is calcium carbide CaC2. This is what calcium carbide reacting with water. Here you should take water 2 moles. Then it will gives you C2H2. This is acetylene and also the byproduct is here CaOH twice calcium. Uh, hydroxide okay this is the first preparation method and also industrial preparation method this is calcium carbide okay and the second from second method onwards these are the laboratory preparation methods okay so uh, in this one vicinal dihalides CH2Br reacting with alcoholic KOH alcoholic KOH CH2Br and CH2Br see this is the vicinal vicinal dibromide we can also call it it is um, 1 to dibromo ethane so here you, uh, heating is necessary and 1 mole of H, HBr would be eliminated and the product is here CH2 double bond CHBr. Okay, CH2 double bond CHBr. And then again you need to do this in the second step. In the second step, we need to use NaNH2 in presence of mineral oil. NaNH2 in presence of mineral oil. Um, temperature is here 110 to 160 degree centigrade okay so here another uh, uh, HBr would be eliminated here another HBr would be eliminated so overall two moles of HBr eliminated during this process but the first uh, um, uh, elimination of HBr it needs uh, alcoholic KOH and the second step needs NaNH2 okay this is one preparation method and the third preparation method is gem halides gem halides CH3 CHBr2 students this is CH3 CHBr2 okay so here this is uh, here also same same reagents we should use alcoholic KOH heating so you will get CH2 double bond CHBr and the next step also here also same reagents we should use and um, so here you will get the final product CH triple bond CH and eliminated product is the HBr here also two moles of H HBr would be eliminated okay and the fourth uh, fourth preparation method is halo form test CHI3 plus halo form I mean uh, all kind preparation from halo form okay halo form here I am taking ido form so ido form um, reacting with uh, silver metal here two moles of ido form you should take okay so that six moles of silver needed silver is in the form of solid uh, so here heating is necessary um, then it will gives you ch triple bond ch and the remaining one is six moles of silver iodide okay coal base electrolysis method uh, aqueous solution of um, uh, uh, potassium malate or fumarate you should take electrolysis this is potassium malate ch trip, uh, double bond ch uh, COO K and then this one also uh, so here this is involved in electrolysis procedure it is electrolysis and then you will get acetylene ch triple bond ch uh, 2 moles of CO2 would be eliminated and then 2 moles of potassium hydroxide also eliminated okay uh, these are the preparation methods about uh, 
uh, acetylene and then after we can see about uh, chemical reactions of uh, uh, acetylene okay chemical reactions first one here i am writing chemical reactions acetylene reacting with acetylene reacting with water in presence of hgso4 here students hgso4 is the 1% hgso4 is the 1% another one is 30% H2SO4 also needed. 30% H2SO4 and heating. Okay. Uh, uh, acetylene reacting with water in presence of mercuric sulfate and also sulfuric acid. Okay. Mercuric sulfate is the 1%. So, you will get first of all CH2 double bond CHOH. Okay, vinyl alcohol, you will get vinyl alcohol. This one is going to be rearranged. This one is going to be rearranged into acetaldehyde. Okay, see here this one like this. Okay, acetaldehyde would be generated. This is one uh, chemical reaction. Another chemical reaction is here. Acetylene reacting with ozone in presence of uh, zinc and water okay first you need to take ozone o3 o3 okay so triozonide would be formed ch ch o this is also oxygen see this is the cyclic intermediate will be formed and this one is going to be um, reacting with zinc in presence of h2o so you will get a glyoxal ch o ch o and the byproduct is here uh, H2O2 hydrogen peroxide. Okay, these are the chemical reactions and also preparation methods of uh, um, acetylene. Uh, if you feel useful and informative, please do subscribe, share these videos to your known people, mention your words in comment session. We will meet in the next class.